everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite loungewear looks today. Something that you may not know about me is even though I love fashion and I love dressing up, I am very much so that type of person who is in their pajamas the second that they get home for the day. So since I'm on week three of working from home and living my best loungewear life, I wanted to share some of my favorite loungewear looks and how I stay comfy, but also how I dress relatively appropriate for all the work video calls that I've been on. I've also learned a few things that I need to do every day in order to keep myself feeling motivated and relatively normal. So I'll be throwing in a few tips that I've learned over the last three weeks as well. But let's just get into the looks. Outfit one is what I've got on right now. Actually, this is what I'm wearing today. It is the classic two-piece sweatsuit. And I'm gonna be wearing all of these outfits with the slippers that I have on because that's what I wear around the house. So I'm trying to keep it really realistic here. But the reason I like this outfit combination is because yes, I'm wearing just sweatpants and a sweatshirt, but I also feel really put together because they match. I don't know if that makes sense really, but there's something about the way that they look together that makes me feel like I got up and I got dressed for the day. One of my most important tips that I have learned is to no matter what, even if you're changing into an equally as comfortable outfit for the day, get dressed in the morning. I spent the first week of my work from home life wearing the same pajamas almost every day. Maybe I changed like midweek into a new pair of pajamas, but I spent the majority of that first week wearing my pajamas thinking, oh, this is awesome. I don't have to put on tight pants and get dressed up for, a, you know, this first week. This is great. And it really started to take a toll on my mental health. I didn't really feel that motivated. It was hard for me to separate my work life from my home life at that point. So something that I've made a point of doing is I have a daily meeting at 9.30 every day, so I make sure that by that time I have gotten up, I have eaten breakfast, I've taken a shower, I've gotten dressed into a different outfit, and I've made the bed. That is my daily routine so far, and it has really helped me feel more put together throughout my day, and then I feel super relaxed and prepared and ready to work by the time 9.30 rolls around. Even though like I usually go through my emails and check on some things before that meeting as well. I kind of throw that into my getting ready time, but I make sure that there is a set point on when I need to be ready to go for the day, have my daily things done. Okay, so outfit number two is the same hoodie as the first outfit. I didn't mention where it was from earlier, but this is from Aritzia. This is the TNA oversized hoodie, and I was wearing it with the matching boyfriend joggers. This time I'm wearing it with leggings. This time around, I just have basic black leggings on. You can wear any leggings you want. These are the Lululemon Align Pants. These are just my favorite personally. My next tip related to this is put on your active wear and wear it as your outfit for the day. I found that this really motivates me to keep my workout routine normal. If I already have my gear on for the day, I feel like I'm more likely to go out and go for a run or do a yoga video when I'm done with work for the day. Here's another example of wearing active wear as your outfit for the day. I just have on my favorite little yoga set underneath this this hoodie so that when I'm done working for the day this hoodie keeps me comfortable throughout the day and warm and then when I'm done for the day I just have to take this off and I'm ready to go do a yoga video in my living room so I found that this really helps streamline my whole daily routine and keeps me on track to continue meeting my fitness goals okay so outfit number three three and a half, four here. I wanna talk about days that I have to dress a little bit more normal for my video calls. Most of them are pretty casual and I feel pretty comfortable just wearing one of the outfits that I just showed you guys, something really casual with a hoodie or whatever. But I have had to do a few presentations where I have felt like I've needed to dress up a little nicer or at least look a little bit more put together. Tips here, I definitely leave my hair down. <laughs> On these days I usually plan for it to be a day that I wash my hair and I make sure that I I just, you know, kind of wear down. I don't really pressure myself to do it or like get myself like really done up or anything for video calls, but I'll make sure that my hair is down. Next, I also will put on a little bit of a lip tint just because with the video call, you kind of like look a little washed out, not that great. So I felt like this, even if I'm not wearing any other makeup, it kind of pulls me together a little bit more. The one that I've just been wearing lately is the one from Glossier, their little lip 
stick tint things. I don't really know what these are called, but you guys have, you've seen them. So I've just been wearing this one on my lips and it just gives me like a little bit more of a pinky tone and it really helps out with my overall appearance on video calls. When it comes to the outfit, I try to keep it pretty simple and I make it something that I can easily throw on and off for, you know, when I'm working versus when I have to be on the video call. So I'll often wear something really comfortable like a classic white tee. I've got one of my favorite cropped ones from Madeball on right now. And I'll just wear that with like leggings, those same leggings that I mentioned earlier with one of my outfits. And this is just a comfortable outfit for me to be wearing during the day, but then when it's time for the call, I'll usually throw on either a sweater over top or a blazer or a jacket. So the one that I usually pair with this outfit is this one that I've got right here. This is a cardigan from Madewell. And what I like about this one is it is really warm. It's still kind of chilly here. It's really nice out today, but um, it's been kind of rainy and in the 40s, so I'm still feeling like I have to layer up inside But I like this one because it is more of a structured cardigan and it keeps me warm So I like the length on it and I like the way that it appears on a video call It looks very professional like you can see just this top half of me right here It looks pretty put together and overall kind of gives me a little bit of comfort while also balancing looking put together for my video calls and then on a similar note, I also have a black blazer here, which is also another go-to. I'll throw it on over the same outfit combination of just the white t-shirt and the leggings. And it has the same look. I prefer black because I feel like it pops out the most on a video call and you can just tell that I look like I put some effort into my outfit today and no one is the wiser that I'm wearing leggings on bottom, so it all works out. This is good for any sort of presentation or big meeting that you still have and you have to do it over video call now. All right, so next outfit, I know that there are some people out there who absolutely detest loungewear and leggings and sweatpants and they are still wearing their jeans. So I wanted to include an outfit with jeans just because I do have a pair that is really comfortable and I do feel like I can sit in all day. I have on the perfect vintage jeans from Madewell. These are one of my old classics. And what I like about these is they are 100% cotton. I've worn them enough that they are stretched out to the perfect spot where they are so soft and comfortable and I have a lot of room in all of the necessary areas, lots of room in the waist and room throughout the hips and everything. So they're still great for sitting. I've been wearing these occasionally and I pair them with this t-shirt. And if I get a little chilly, I'll throw on a nicer looking sweater over top. So this is also another outfit that is appropriate for my video calls, but also keeps me warm and is comfortable at the same time. So the sweater that I'm gonna throw on with these, just based on the light blue color, is my favorite checked one from Cezanne. You guys have seen this one before. It is is my go-to comfy classic loungewear sweater. I love the classic crew cut of it and I just love the way that it looks with like a mid wash to a light wash denim. I always feel really comfortable and cute in this outfit. If you need a day to feel a little bit more put together, I would definitely recommend a casual kind of jeans sweater combination. And by wearing a t-shirt underneath, it gives me enough flexibility to take off the sweater at any point during the day that I am possibly getting a little bit too warm in the apartment as well. The final outfit that I wanna share today is a dress combination. Dresses are for you people out there who are not huge on wearing pants or possibly the weather is just too nice where you're living and it's a bit warmer outside. So I would definitely recommend wearing a dress as your everyday loungewear because not only are they light and breathable, but they're so comfortable for sitting in and for working in because nothing is like digging into your waist or anything. So I would recommend like a looser fitting style. I have on this slip dress style right now and I have just thrown on a cardigan over top of it just because I live in a, a little bit of a colder climate. So I'm still wearing sweaters around this time of year, but you could easily just wear this on its own. So this kind of keeps me warm and gives me more flexibility too if I do get warm during the day. Another way to dress up a dress or something if you need to for a video call is to throw something on over top of it. So I had that cardigan on just now, but I also wanted to show this wrap style knit shirt that I'm going to tie over top. So tying it over top kind of gives it all a more put together look and I look like I am wearing just a basic top for a video call, but then on bottom I have a nice flowy skirt that keeps me comfortable all day. That concludes all of the looks that I wanted to share today and some of the learnings that I've had over the past few weeks. 
I also wanted to throw in a final tip and that is just a reminder to take care of yourself too during this time. It's okay to take breaks just because you're working from home or doing school from home now. It does not mean that you have to be on your work or school computer every day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. I found that it works best for me to just tell myself that it's a hard stop on work starting at 5 p.m. and I make sure to go and take the time for myself to exercise or cook a meal and then relax in the living room and watch TV or play Animal Crossing or whatever I wanna do. I just make sure to try and keep as normal as a routine as possible. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're staying sane and healthy and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.